just getting back from our boxing event thing and uh had a table set up but we're gonna be tying up some bucktail stuff tonight so y'all hang out with us and uh, i'm gonna let some people get in here and then i gotta get all my stuff kind of unpacked but i wanted to go ahead and get on live and start getting some people in here see how it goes so First, Mr. Dan, welcome in, my friend. I appreciate you stopping by tonight. You are right, I do know absolutely nothing. Except we tried to sell a bunch of jigs today. Got a little thing I'm gonna unbox here, show everybody in a little bit. Be exciting. Leave upon leaving, I'll stay in Pumpa's ego. Leave upon leaving. How you doing, man? Saturday night. You having fun? I'm gonna do nothing but deer tails here tonight, so it's all the time. It's what I sold almost out of today, so. Trying to get everything uh, unpacked here from the from the show we've been at. Hanging out with Dom. Hey, Dom. How you doing, little buddy? What's up there, uh, Mr. Ted? Hey, Jessica. How are y'all? We're doing good. We've been uh, at the Arkansas State Championship Junior Boxing Junior Olympics. Um, today we've had a booth set up for two days, so we've been selling jigs and took my fly tying, took all the kit and all the tails and all the everything, all my tools there. So working on getting it unpacked right now. So Hope everybody's having a good Saturday night. I'm gonna tie nothing but big bucktails tonight, so. Quarter ounce, three yacht hooks. It's what we sold, almost sold out of today, the last couple days, so. Y'all doing good, good deal. Mr. Corey, what's up? Welcome in. Grumpy Gills, we're doing great. How are you doing, my friend? Okay. We are doing good. Oh yeah. We got us a new tent. So hopefully we can have some camping stuff coming to y'all coming this summer. Oh yeah. If y'all are interested in it. Got us a new tent. It's a Coleman six person. Uh, big tent so pretty excited about it as soon as we get a few more people on i'm gonna unbox this as well got to go crabbing today in newport earl joe and heidi and triple d was there with us nice did y'all catch anything this is um a buck some bucktails from midwest bucktails i have never uh Never ordered from Midwest Bucktail, so I'm excited to see what those look like. And the box is still sealed. We just got home, so haven't even got that open yet. I wanted to do it on live with y'all. Supposed to be five tails in there. Supposed to be two natural, one black, one brown, and one that is guacamole colored. Guacamole? <laughs> That's what the name of the color is, guacamole. Real specific? Yep. Excellent heading out for a camping trip tomorrow. Have the four person Coleman, awesome. Not much at all, oh, Earl got like two it? huge ones. Like Grumpy Gills, do you like that, Um, the Coleman tent? Ours is the six person, so I think it's like an 11 foot by nine foot, but it's still a dome. Um, so it'll be easy to set up. 
It says it'll fit two queen air mattresses, so. Yeah, it looks like I got six foot tall in the center. Yeah, six foot tall in the center, so I'll still be having to crouch down, but I don't guess you do a lot of standing up in the tent anyway. I will. <laughs> yeah, Sophie will be able to stand up, no problem. I'll fit yeah, she's five too. That guac though. Corey, I'm interested in that um your asbestos jig falling apart today, man. I wanna know. That's something there. You said it's still holding, but it's uh getting a little little beat up, huh? Almost done making my first custom tiny boat seat boat seat frame. Nice. Come over here and start shoving stuff like you own the place. Still holding. Oh, okay. It's got that, uh, it's got that, like, UV resin, the quick dry resin to help hold it. I don't, I didn't think it would come apart, but kind of wild that that string, string come off. Daddy. Not bad at all. You can stand, can't stand in it. You can put it off on the floor, yeah. Held up in a rainstorm really well. Awesome. That's good to hear. Good deal. Try to get you all a little more angled down and back up. So y'all can still kind of see what's going on here. Y'all want to tear into this first? See what these look like? Here, put that back where it goes. Uh... Sorry about that. Trying to get our, our this area, the corner of the house, put back together. It's all your alert, but on another live, we'll drop off a like, and I'd sure appreciate it. I thank you for coming in here and saying hello anyway. That's awesome. Got, uh, what did Dylan bring over here? Spill. He didn't spill anything. He brought that dump truck over here and started shoving on it. Oh. All right. Hey, Youper. Welcome in, my friend. Sure appreciate you being here. Hey, you Who? Yeah, let's unbox this first. See what I. Uh, See what these new new things are gonna look like. Pretty excited to see them. We could tie something with this too. It's just a normal like three aught. It's a EWG, but we could tie something on it too and mess around. Hey, bye bye's on. We decided to go ahead and get on here because if not, let's keep falling behind on our watch time problem. So. And we need to replenish some uh, some bucktails from the sales last couple of days anyway. So. Oh, you want to show them this? Yeah, what is it? Oh. Sweet banner, bro. Yeah. You got us a... It's the banner material, and it's got, like, the little dealies. You can, like, tie it down or whatever. Yeah. Got us a nice banner. Everything for the shows. And we got a couple more events we're going to try to get to, so... That'd be neat. Let's tear into this and see what uh what these look like. Sophie's over here too, so. Hello. Ooh, I need one more thing out of here. Yeah, that guy. One of these had a spot on it. Right on, sweet. Thank you. Yes, Rock Creek Bait Company is our um our jig jig business. Then 
Uh, I what had. Do you, we put that in the sill. Just like that's where I take the pictures. I'm thinking of putting this on this. Yeah, that's our that's our logo. If you ever get to looking looking for it, Rock Creek Bait Company. <laughs> How'd you realize that, Corey? The banner, yes, yeah. Rock Creek Bait Company. That's our um. That's our jig, jig side. So we've got Facebook, um, Facebook, Instagram. On Rock Creek. Yeah, and that's, the, it? that's it for that. Uh, natural set. We have YouTube. And also a website. You can go to RockCreekBaitCompany.com. YouTube. We have. Instagram, Facebook, not Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Yeah, for Natural State, we have Instagram and TikTok and YouTube, obviously. Who keeps Oh, your dad said, tell you. Oh, I send her some news, papers, articles of her grandpa. Oh, okay, thank you. Jessica said, hello, Sophie. Corey said, hello. Said, hi, Sophie. Hey. Everybody saying hi to the Soph. Realized in that last vid, yeah, no doubt. Hey, Robert Mack, welcome in. I appreciate it for stopping by here. Uh, when she was standing next to you in that last video y'all did with those jigs on two mile. Oh, nice. Yeah, she's really short, and I'm, I'm also like above averagely tall, so that combination you being short and me being above tall above average tall and it just kind of it makes for a drastic uh height difference Fisher. she has to wear a um a head mount and i have to wear a chest mount so that y'all don't like notice a huge elevation change you matt you make too much money if you have packages open what oh hey mr rod we were just about to open this gonna see y'all are gonna see it before i will i guess we'll see it at the same time that is from midwest bucktails they've got a uh, little card there west got his phone number and everything threw an awesome decal in that's cool it's pretty sweet check that out it's like a walleye or a musky i guess more of a musky with some deer antlers on there look at that look at that decal buddy Oh, wow. It's pretty sweet. We got good looking tail. It's got a lot of white hair. That is fantastic. Good stuff. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's pretty. That's a good tail. Compared to... Um, Where'd you, where did you buy these from? Midwest. That's like a normal Bass Pro sized what you get. But the back side, look how much white is on that one compared to the Bass Pro side. Oh, oh, wow. That's a good deal. I said we got two of those. And then this is the black. And it is what it is. This right here is pretty. That's a really pretty brown. Look at that. Of course, you got the natural hair side on this side, but that brown right there is really nice. Those are some long strands too. We'll be able to do a lot of fun stuff. But this right here, look at that. That guacamole. Look at that, babe. Look at that color. That is sweet. I like it. It really does look like guacamole. It's gonna look so good. Put some brown with some of that guacamole in there. And some of um like that green crystal flash in there. <laughs> Corey. Yeah, that is something right there. That is sweet. I had never seen that. I'm excited about it. That's cool. That's awesome, baby. Yeah, I've never seen it. Pretty cool. Nice. At the bottom of the little um thing, he wrote a 
wrote a little note just like thanks for giving midwest bucktails a shot enjoy the tails and sticker wes that's awesome man i ordered this april 25th and it's sitting on my doorstep today and it is what the 29th that's pretty pretty good so for sure make some good looking baits let's see what we can make with one mess around with it i don't want to put it on a uh i don't know if i want to put that on a white head i do not have any black heads done either oh well i've got white what? white pink and teal put one on a white head I think it would look better on a black head. What? Which one? That guacamole. You think so? Yeah. Pretty wild. Good looking baits. Thank you, sir. We hope, hopefully I can do them justice. Yeah, I don't have any black heads made. Do you want me to go make some? No, it's... Oh, you don't trust me? I trust you. I know, I don't, I don't want to. I'm not too good at it. That black is jet black, I mean. You can barely tell the difference on where the skin stops and the... Oh. I mean, it is black. Let me see, what is this? A deer tail. It smells great. Really? Uh, I'm just kidding. I really got in there deep. <coughs> You're really getting right in the middle. Hey. <laughs> uh. You're ridiculous. It doesn't smell that. These actually don't smell bad compared no, to like the white. No, those are not compared bad. to the white river. Well, cool deal. That guacamole is pretty neat. Yeah, that guac. Guacamole such a wild color it's definitely not chartreuse let me get a chartreuse for comparison so this is a chartreuse so it's absolutely guacamole that's pretty cool Here, yeah that i like it i dig it can you dig it yeah let's build something with it green eggs and ham <laughs> <laughs> Corey. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Alright, let's put one on a white head and see what it looks like. What are you doing with that money there, Dylan? Throwing it, apparently. Alright, white head with some black thread. Let's see what we got. Do not cut wires with these scissors. I won't. I'm gonna set them right here. These are my finer woman scissors. I don't have nothing with wires in it now. Huh? I don't is have this? nothing. Oh. I'm just saying, don't be cutting. I got me some new scissors. No! Too. <laughs> Those are mine. Those are my kitchen scissors. I would never, babe. You would too. I wouldn't, because then. You would too, and be sorry about it. Then, and be sorry about it. Because then I gotta get more of them. Oh, uh, you know where I got that set? That at? Um, that goes with my knife set. It's like a $70 set. I oh, it. honey. Pioneer Woman. Pioneer Woman. All right. So we didn't even buy it. Okay. Yeah, it was a wedding gift. It was gift. a wedding gift. <laughs> Good night, Rod. I appreciate it. Thumpy, that man, if you go watch Rod, he catches a lot of crappie. Boy. Have I ever held the string? I always check the link to make sure it's just like just longer than the actual thimble the bobbin itself mm -hmm. <laughs> because of that reason <laughs> yeah that's funny yeah i think it's a uh, i think it's a pretty legit concern that's hilarious i thought i kept smelling something this is gorgeous my gosh i mean that is just Look at that. Compared to that jig, that's way long. I mean, that's like five inch long hairs. That is wild. Yeah, I love that brown. That is something. I don't know what we're gonna make here. 
Y'all think mixing, try to mix it up or just put some guac down the sides of this brown? Oh yeah, definitely, Dan. <laughs> I am throwing this right now on a um, quarter ounce uh, three-aught hook. Corey be a little big for the old panfish. Hey, Glenn, look at the old... I just unboxed it, got, I uh, cut the box open right here, but it's a nice brown deer tail. And then look at this one right here, that guacamole. That's what it's called. It's from a company called Midwest Bucktails. Midwest Bucktails. And uh, pretty sweet though. The guacamole is a wild color compared to like a chartreuse. It's a lot tamer. I think it'll make it for a natural looking little thing here. We're about to find out what it looks like. I hear a mad Dylan. Ain't hey, happy about something. Yeah, you do for sure. Be better with a black or chartreuse head. I know, man, I don't have any made. You need two, Glenn. <laughs> Hashtag hairs for Matt. That's funny. Yeah, I don't have any black or... I know I almost don't want to put it on this white head. It's going to really look dumb. I don't want to tie and waste this just to put it on a white head. I may um, stick to... I can hook you up, have access to a bunch every year from DMAP. D Absolutely, I'd appreciate it. Because uh, we had an event this weekend and we almost sold entirely out of bucktail jigs. It was pretty crazy. Uh, it was a good deal. I think we'll stick to something a little more just a white, something with this white and maybe a chartreuse top or something on it. Whoa, Johnny, almost missed it. Whoa, buddy. You got it, buddy. We just, I mean, we've only been here for 20 minutes, so the night is way young tonight. Check this out, man. Got a black deer tail, old guacamole color. It feels silly even saying guacamole colored. Just got on. Thanks for doing a bucktail. For sure, Jeffro. Yeah, I appreciate, uh, appreciate you getting on here. We're going to do a, do a few. That's all we're going to make tonight, I believe so. Hey, what's up, Logan? How you doing, man? Yeah, we, uh, we had fun, though. It was a good, good weekend. I'm going to actually peel this off if we're not doing that. Scoop. I'm going to restart. Can I do a squirrel? I can do squirrel. Um, squirrel hair is not quite long enough to use for this size jig, but I've got some jigs that are squirrel tail. Uh, let me find one. I know there's some in this box. I'm trying to organize the cat stuff, can't find anything. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. It's not organized, it's just all around me and I just kind of know. So these are a little, huh? He said my stuff must be more organized than his. That's funny. Yeah. This is a squirrel tail drop shot bait I'd messed around with. Hey, what's up there, uh, Mr. Jeremy? I get on my milk. What? <laughs> Johnny, yeah, man. Sub to raise outdoors, whole other level, and Johnny. Nice. They're right here. I wasn't using them. I took them from Dylan, actually. He was 
Yeah, that's just squirrel tail. I'm sorry, Jeffro got distracted. That's a squirrel tail, but they're not very long. The fibers aren't, so you can't get very much out of them. But I tied this. It's completely weightless. You could use it, I guess, as a fly, a big fly. But I tied it for more of a drop shot bait. I was going to try, and I just never have. But... They do make a pretty jig. Who is it? Oh. I got a spoil tail here. What is tomorrow? Sunday the 30th. Yeah. See the difference on a squirrel tail at most, you've got like maybe two inches. Oh, that's awesome, buddy. It's just awesome. Compared to the deer tail fibers, you've got a lot more. See, it's a lot longer fibers, so you can do a lot bigger jig. But. I had a guy today say he was going to... Um, that black part transition on that squirrel. Oh, dude, I know. I had a guy today say he was gonna bring me a coyote tail, so we'll see. Dill needs chocolate. <laughs> yeah, he sure he does. What? <laughs> Corey said Dill needs chocolate. No, he doesn't. No, no chocolate tonight? Okay, buddy. All right, anyway, let's tie something, guys. My bad. Have you tied anything yet? Not a thing. How long have you been on? Uh, 26 minutes. Baby, they're not, I'm gonna look at your face. <laughs> yeah, I always get that thread, and I'll make sure the link's not crazy before I before I pull it through. That way, when it does come through, it's only sticking out like a inch or so. Every time I make strawberry milk, it's a race between which one of me and Dylan could drink. <laughs> oh, Dylan. He likes strawberries. He calls them straw rabies. He'll say blackberries, mm -hmm. blueberries, yep. raspberries, but as soon as you ask him to say strawberries, he says straw rabies. Yep. He's a crazy boy. All right. We'll get everything situated here for this. Right on. Second channel already. 80 subs. Man, that's awesome. Good stuff. Straw rabies, yummy. <laughs> yep, no deal. He's a mess. That kid's too funny. He's a stinker. I get about how much I want, you know, there. And then I'll cut it off. And then you can hold it to where it's square. And work it around the jig there so that it... You know, goes goes all the way around it evenly. Get it all cinched down good. That way it won't go nowhere. And then that scalpel is where, uh, or not a scalpel, I call it a scalpel. <laughs> Johnny said, Sophie. What? I don't know, he's just saying, hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. But yeah, exacto knife's the move on trimming Sorry. this stuff. Oh. She says she's studying for Sunday school tomorrow. 
Man, I tell you what, those uh, that boxing event tonight was pretty, or the last two nights, two days, pretty awesome. If y'all ever have any kind of local, local boxing club or anything, have an event, it'd be worth the little entry fee to go. And that entry fee helps out everybody, so. Raised homesteading. Yeah, Glenn got him a little homesteading channel going on. He realized uh, pretty much he is a homesteader and didn't even know it, so figured might as well document it for those who want to go watch it, go check it out. It's not considered homesteading as much when it's just kind of a kind of a way of life. Like he said, so. We did, yes, Jeffro, sure did. Yeah, we sponsored the event, so, or we helped sponsor, we didn't sell. And uh, in doing that, we had a, had a booth there, so. Anyway, I'll get that all trimmed down decent and then come over everything again, make sure it's all good and tied down. And at that point, I'll flip this jig over. Since we've got red thread, I'm just gonna throw red on top of this one. I'll flip that jig over in the vise and I like the color to be on top, so. Got your second channel. Yeah, everybody pick up Glenn's homestead channel. It's pretty cool. Uh, get some, some red hair. I died, so. Hey, Gray Wolf, welcome in. I just keep this all just in a bag because it's stuff that we've dyed. It's easier to dye when it's not on the tail for us. So. Get it all. <laughs> you like our banner, Johnny? Dude, that's awesome. You know what we need to do is like hang it up back here behind us. We should do that. You wanna do that, babe? What? Hang up our banner like back here behind us over my shoulder. Like, not instead of the turkey picture? Yeah. Can you see, can they see the turkey picture? No. Y'all can't see that picture right there, can you? It's got some turkeys. There you go. Now you can see it. And of course all Dylan's projects up there and whatnot, but. I try to figure out how to check my battery with y'all. Yeah. Hey Domingo, Dom hey, what's up man? I appreciate you coming in here and hanging out with us tonight. Sorry I missed you coming in. Yeah, that old Jolly Bait Company hat for sure. We always represent them. I had that on at the at the show. Um, so we're talking about communion. Tomorrow. That's weird. I'm not understanding that because communion is like that. Yeah. In the middle of April, but I mean, in April. I don't know. You think that's weird? It's a little strange. I thought so too. Um, all the ends are kind of uneven, so I'll drop it down in the stacker. All the stacker is is a tube, empty tube, and this has got the end on it. And just kind of funnel your hair down in there. But you just tap on it. Tap it on the table or on your hand or whatever. And then you're able to pull pull that out and your ends are a lot neater and stacked up tighter. So then you're able to tie it a little better. So 
Just over at Jolly Bait Company's live a few minutes ago. Uh-oh. Yeah, I seen him live. Um, he's been remelting plastic, which is super cool. But I told him I wanted some of the sprues, which is uh, the big, chunky piece of unmelt or unused plastic there in the middle of his molds. I told him I wanted some sprues to fish with. So we'll see. And then from there, just lay that straight in about the same length as all the white stuff there over the tail. And you just want it to be at the front. Wait, what? Described to like everyone here. <laughs> nice. Better late than never, for sure. <laughs> Fashionably late. Funny. Yeah, I'll come to the front and get the front tied down good. The front just being the front of the, hmm. the thread gap that I have. Once I get everything cinched down, I'll trim off that excess that's flared up crazy in the front. That little X-Acto knife makes it easy. As long as you don't bear down on and uh, as long as you don't cut your string, cut the old string, yeah. Which I've absolutely done before several times, so it happens. But anybody with a Pelican Bass Red or other two man plastic boat making custom seat frames, future thing about one and seven, nice. Sub to everyone. <laughs> Sub to everyone. Nice. Thanks, Johnny. That's cool. Yeah, that's a... Uh, those little... He followed me on Instagram. Thing. Johnny did? Oh, nice. Heck yeah. He's a good dude. Our personal account. We've got a little something special kind of worked up with Johnny. He's going to make us something pretty cool. We're excited about Y'all see that later, though. That ain't <laughs> the old guac. It is pretty cool color. Johnny, if you're still seeing the guac, you're a few minutes behind in the in the old uh, I was like, chat. Yeah, I thought you already did that. I did. If you're just saying you love it, yeah, that's cool. Maybe some that. Rainbowish flash or just silver? Probably just silver down. I don't have any kind of red flash. I don't know. I'm sure that they make those. Yeah, absolutely. They've got all the colors of flash. I don't have anything red that's flashy though. Oh well. Uh, each have 799 subs. That's cool. That's a good. Uh, who does? Dan and I don't know who else. Probably Wolo. What are we at? Like 825, I think. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We've got a bunch of shorts filmed that we um we thought about releasing, but we kind of are waiting until our watch time gets up. Some, because having the subscribers doesn't do any good. Really? You have to have both, though, right? Yeah, you have to have both. So the subscribers are way easier to get. I think I say that like a, like we have them, but I don't. Maybe it's hard to. Now we're even. Cool, cool. Fabricate rod racks and holders, Dan. I have all kinds of ideas. Nice. Last video on the river. Ooh, how recent was it? If it's like been within the last uh, two weeks, I haven't because um we've been pretty busy. You've been slacking. Yeah, I've been slacking on my video watching. Yeah, for sure. Be nice for fluke with a trailer. Yeah, that's a quarter ounce, so it's pretty good. Last work last week. I don't remember, man. 
Who's this? Well, uh... Sophie, they're laughing at you. What did you say that was funny? I don't know. I think all the other things. <laughs> She's always back there in the background just... I'm always mouthing. Yeah. No. Getting that tinsel cut to about the right length. Honest Sophie, yes. Uh, brutally sometimes, which is great. What? I use a jig that I'd like you to mimic and make me with some with hair. Okay, yeah, what? for sure. What did, what did he say about? He said you're brutally honest. Who did? Corey. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he said honest. I said brutally. I won't, I don't want to add, yeah. I don't want to add anything to Corey. Man, we, um, so we have a bass tournament coming up again here in the next. I'm doing that before. No, it was, um, the last weekend of May. But we actually decided to not fish it because it was, um, it's a $150 entry fee. And we're kind of just, we fish for fun. I mean, we try to win, of course, when we're in a tournament, but. Not like that. Yeah. So what I do with that tinsel, if y'all can see, I put, I just put it in and I split that difference. I just kind of half it. I know the focus is horrible, but, and then I'll fold the rest of it back over. Like that. And then I'll tie that down on both sides. But fishing lines on the river. Nice. Don't do any cat fishing. Got 20 limb lines hung but not baited yet. Nice. 800 sub. Nice. A catfish only rod and reel. Tournaments are for old people. <laughs> yeah, table rock guy. What's up, Marcus? Welcome in. Uh, Johnny, I checked them today, which, I mean, we just literally just shipped them out yesterday. but And they're in Little Rock, Arkansas, so they're they're making their way. They're in route. And you got that tracking number, too, I sent you on Instagram there. It should already be in the system, but I doubt it's It is. Close. I checked it today. It's in Little Rock. Where did you live? He lives in New Jersey. <laughs> we shipped them yesterday. So. It, 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 New Jersey all the way up there. That's awesome. It, isn't it all the way up there by Maine? Yeah, New Jersey's yeah. way up there. It'll be, it'll be getting to you. Not today. It'll be there. No, not today. Not tomorrow. Next week, probably, yeah. It'll be there the week. So I'm doing what Johnny's Outdoors did, subscribing to everybody. Some of you already, but to the ones I don't have, Is I'm Sandy subscribing. Toes awesome. Doing? I haven't seen Sandy Toes in a long time. I want to know how the roos are doing. Mm hmm Yeah. I imagine they're still... Man, I would love to speak to her. I bet she's got an accent. She comes up on Mr. Earl's panel a lot, so you could get on and hear her. Is she Australian? She's Australian, yeah. <laughs> She's absolutely Australian. We watch, um... Oh, we watch How Ridiculous. They're Australian, aren't they? How Ridiculous... Are they from Australia? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. I wonder if she knows who they are. Personally or just in general? Just in general. Since they're from the same... I'm sure. Uh, country. Country? Yep. Yeah, okay. Country or continent... Oh, continent. It's continent, yeah. I thought, have you made any jigs? The one right here that I'm tying right now. And that's it? That's it. I thought you made one with guacamole. No, I don't have any black heads, and I don't want to put it on a white head. It'd look bad. I don't want to waste the hair just for the sake of tying it onto a head. You know what I mean? 
I don't have any heads that are dyed black. Oh. All I have are these. You don't want to put on the white one? No, it would look, it, look, it needs to be black. You think so? Yeah, it's going to look weird being brown and white. Blackhead look better. And they, that's what Thumpy and people on here were saying too. Brown? What's brown? The brown. Because the brown, I'm going to mix the brown, the khaki brown and the black and the guacamole together. Oh, okay. To try to make like a natural looking, um, like bluegill or something. Be good. So, Are you talking about our side business cards? New Jersey isn't far. No. I will. I don't know it's, where it's at. It's right there. All right, let me get caught up on the chat. I'm sorry. No video cameras. We had to make a... Um, it's got my cell phone number on there. I don't guess it matters. No, put your finger over it. It don't matter. Low battery. Okay. Hopefully that didn't um, mess everybody up. New York City. New Jersey isn't far from me. I live in upstate New York. Not to be confused with New York City. Nice. Oh, upstate New York and New York City nice. something? No. My son is in the kitchen making chocolate dip pretzels with my dad's lady friend. Nice. That's awesome. His son. His son is in the, in kitchen, the kitchen making chocolate dip pretzels with his dad's lady's friend. Gray Wolf, you'll never see me. You'll see me near you. Nice. Have you made any jigs? Yeah. No joke. Hey, Stacy, welcome in, my friend. How you doing? The Indiana Hoosier Buckdale. Yeah, make a jig. My bad, Wolo, look. Uh, Domingo is cool, yeah. Seneca and Cougar Lake and the Finger Lakes. Great activity tonight, man, Sophie, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, just trying to stay caught up with everybody and also tie this up, so... Anyway, I just I go around and make sure everything's tight, tied down good. And I just put a final like layer, the length of everything. Try to make sure the threads are all um. Okay. Okay. Make sure the threads are all somewhat even, and then same thing, same whip finishes. Anything else on them? If I can act like I've done it before. And I put five five wraps on here too, so. I try to make sure they go on as even as possible as well. Everything's straight whenever you tie it up. Sense it down. Cut her free like that. 250 wraps. would be a lot. Matt's thorough. <laughs> I try to be. Great activity tonight. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Anyway, that guy's, that guy's done. I always pull the... Whatever little bit of excess didn't get strapped down. I get all those out. And then... That one will be ready for action, pretty much. Sophie puts the eyes on. Mm. But there you can kind of see the... What is it? Oh, Jolly, putting some stuff. He remounted a huge pot of old plastic. Nice. And that's the color it came out. Yeah. Short one I did my granddaughter's fishing at Seneca. Nice. Put 250 wraps. Wasn't really fishing. Trying to upload a video, but it's stuck. Uh oh, darn it. Anyway, yeah, it's a little... What it looks like that? from the back. No, I'm... Uh, mobile data, whatever. Anyway, there you go. Be a good time. Now on, cut off my deer tails and send you. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. We, uh, we would take them happily. Would happily take them. 
because they are like fifteen dollars a piece if Who you is? try to buy them online. The tails, oh. those tails. I guess from now on, I need to cut my deer tails off. Yeah, so we set up that booth, and uh, yesterday all we had were like these little Rock Creek Bait Company stickers. Passed up a catfish tournament today. Winning weight was 13, second was six, and third was two. There you go. You could have. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> yeah, well, he could have absolutely done it. But anyway, so we didn't have any business cards. A bunch of people were asking yesterday at the event for business cards. Of course, we didn't have any. So today, or last night, Sophie made a little... It's just literally... It's pa printer paper. <laughs> printer paper, but it works. Could have got four. Yeah, she's got packing tape on there, but... Pretty neat. Yeah, try to find. That's our fancy little bowl. Hey, Mr. Rich. Do you guys use squirrel tail as well? We do. That's what I was saying earlier with the squirrel tail. This is what that's what is the max you've got is like two inches maybe inch and a half two inches mm -hmm. compared to a deer tail you've got a lot more length because you can put them put them together the deer tails have the length to cover the um the big bass jigs trash fish which was anything besides a catfish was seven ounces Glenn, that would have been a, that would have been good. Baby Shad opening night. Mimic and make me some. Send you some mosquito tails. Yeah, there you go. But yes, we do. Um, not very often. Uh, this is this was just playing around with squirrel tail. But we have. Need that llama. <laughs> yeah, no joke. Magic Shad opening night. Let me Google here on Sophie's phone. See what color that is. Opening night. Easily one trash fish. Oh, yeah. Seven ounce. I could have wacky rigged up a little bass for sure or something that would have been awesome we were busy today though with the i did take y'all remember we tied a bucktail on a buzz bait a few months a few weeks back whoa was that yep the nightly dino dis disturbance wow But yeah, we uh, I did take that um, that buzz bait out with the bucktail and caught two pretty nice ones on it. They get the job done on the crappie. All right, I'll for sure check it out, Wolo. Yeah, man. Cow pastures and cut some cow tails for you too. So we had some guy give us some cow tails. <laughs> yeah. Daddy. Opening night. Daddy? So it kind of just looks like white. Daddy? Buddy. Daddy, that's a triceratops. That is a triceratops. Man, that was good. Yeah, but it has horns. He does have horns. It's being attacked, yeah. Matt's being attacked, yeah. Soraya says, hi, Dills. Hey, can you say hi, Soraya? Is he down? Can you say hi, Soraya? I see his tail. Do you want to come here and say hi? Do you want to come here? That's pretty scary, dinosaur buddy. 
uploading again. Attack of the dinosaurs, yeah. He's got oh. all the dinosaurs. He's got the triceratops and this thing. And they're sitting here getting ready to fight. That's the growling that you hear is him. Do you want to come here and say hi? You don't have to. Dino mode. Yeah. You do want to? I want to. You want to? I want to this dinosaur and the dead dad. I want to dinosaur and the dead dad. I want to show you my dinosaur, okay? Did you see it? Hang on, I dropped a 64th ounce jig head between my legs and the seat, and I ain't trying to find it. <sighs> All right. You got it? Come here, buddy. I got it. Oopa. Yeah. I see the horn. Look at that Dylan. Do you see him? Look right there. <laughs> Look at the legs. <laughs> Look, they're they're sending you dinosaurs. You see the little dinosaurs? That's scary. Oh my gosh. What is this? What is that? That is the So it kind of looks like just white with white with a bunch of silver flake, huh? That is a dinosaur. Daddy, that is a dinosaur. Look at all your dinosaurs, bud. That's awesome. These are all dinosaurs. I see your dinosaur. That's crazy, dinosaurs. Oh, uh, but there he fast. is. Look at all your dinosaurs, buddy. My goodness, we're gonna screenshot all your dinosaurs. Maybe I can do it without locking my phone. It's all be <laughs> catastrophic. All right. Okay, see a wimps? See a wimps? Hey, what color is that dinosaur? This one. What the face? What color is his face? Black. It's not black. Crazy. What color is that? Is that purple? Mm -hmm. No, it's not, you goofy. Yellow. Yellow, good job. Okay, what is this? That's yellow and orange, it looks like. That's yellow and orange and black. Yellow and orange and black. Dylan helped with Amy's lure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So we um we sent all those to Amy and then she was Daddy, supposed to send us Daddy. some lures back in return and Daddy? she said they got lost in the mail or something. Daddy. I don't know. So. Daddy, Daddy, look at me. See, is there teeth? I see the teeth. So anyway, we haven't um we haven't received. We were gonna show y'all because she was Daddy, gonna paint look, one for him. Daddy, you see the mouth? I see the mouth. That's crazy. Yeah, boy, he leaves. Yeah. We never, uh, what the oh, yeah, cheap? well, I'm on my phone right now, like, streaming, Daddy, so I can't, I don't know if I can open it, but I Googled a Daddy, picture of it Daddy, on, um, Daddy, on cheap. Sophie's phone. Daddy, Daddy, let's see, Daddy, see big, big feet. <laughs> His big feet. I got elbows, too. Is that eyeballs? It's got eyeballs. Yeah, but the eyeballs. You talking to somebody through the uh, through the phone? Pink and sparkly. Oh yeah, okay. Pink. Do the pink. Pink and sparkly. Yeah. Do on the beach. Do on the beach. Pink and sparkly. Pink hair. Daddy, what are you doing with that I was just trying to read something. My bad. You good? Yeah, I did. Sit in my lap and steal the gator today. Nice. Daddy, I put my money. No chocolate. In my yeah, no. <laughs> None. I put in my money. Bless you, buddy. I put in my money in my dump truck. You put your money in your dump truck? Yeah, that's cool. I put in my money in my my truck. Yeah, you put your money in your truck. 
<laughs> All right, buddy. You ready to go or you want to stay here? I want to stay here. You want to stay here? Where are you? Mama's, mama's in, taking a shower real quick. Yeah. Silly boy. Silly boy. I silly boy. You are a silly boy. I eat horns. You're eating the horns. My goodness. I eat. I eat, eat horns. Yeah. He's a stinker. What did he do? Did he eat? 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 Did he? Did he eat dress? Gracie is on the couch. He does in the dress. In the dress. Yeah. What do you mean? A dirty dress. A dirty dress. Texas, I sure I'm will, down. Jeremy. I appreciate it. I'm down. Yeah, if I can uh, figure out something pink, pink Daddy, top. Daddy, I need to. I'll try to figure it out. Moon pump is pink. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll try to. Fix you up something. I'll send you a picture and see what you think. Let him steal our cub cadet. Yeah, he li he likes to fish. Yeah, he I love fishing. Do you? You like to what? I love fishing. You do? I do love fishing. I want to here. You don't want to go fishing right now. Yeah, but go fishing later. Yeah, maybe later. It's kind of late now, huh? Daddy, don't cut your fingers. I won't cut my fingers. Oh, Daddy, I'm going to do that. Yep. Don't cut Good night, your Jeremy. Fingers. I appreciate you coming in here and hanging out. Don't cut your fingers like this. I would never cut your fingers. You don't cut my fingers? No. Don't cut your fingers in fingers. I won't, buddy. Oh, I did it fast now. You did that pink on my jig. Daddy, Too short. my foot is what dinner. Yeah, I think he was after. Um, Daddy, my foot is what dinner. Your foot is way down there. It's okay though. Yeah. Yeah. My toes is what dinner. Yeah, I think that one would work for a. Uh, Today. I'm gonna put your toes on the fly. You want me to? Yeah. I'll put your toes on there. I'll tie your toes on there. Hmm. Do you want me to put your toes? Give me the toes. Give me your toes. <laughs> um, yeah, if he's but wanting crappie jigs, guess. we could totally do it with that with that pink that you're talking I about. I have my toes. I have yeah. my toes. All right. They see your feet, buddy. Get out of here with your feet. Yeah, but I see my feet. They don't want to see that. Stinky feet. He you. Stinky feet. They stinky feet. It in my belly. What in the world? Don't show them your belly. Oh my goodness. They don't want to see that. <laughs> they do not want to see that. Daddy, 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 it's that. You gotta be, don't touch this, okay? It's really sharp, okay? Yeah, boom. But that hook. Don't hurt me. This one will hurt you. It's very sharp. You have to be very, very careful, okay? We're trying to get it uncovered so that we can see. Because it's got all that hair on there right now. It's a bunch of hair on it right now. Mm-hmm. It's got a bunch of hair on it right now. So we're trying to get all the hair off. Okay? Yeah, but it's a big drinkle. But it's a drinkle. He's a stink. He is a stinker for sure. Yeah, but it's a the hair. Yeah, the hair. You like the hair? Yeah, what a lot of hair. Yeah. That's a lot of hair. That's a lot of hair. Give him the jig a haircut, yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's so scary. That's scary, that toy. Yeah. That hair? Yeah, be careful. Don't move right now. They're roaring at you. Can you tell them roar? Give them a roar. Oh my gosh. Daddy, 
That's a pterodinosaur. <laughs> this is a scary dinosaur. That's a Let's put this cap back on here so that we don't get nobody hurt, okay? Put it way over there so that Dylan can't touch it. Yeah? Sound good? Mm hmm. Hmm? Where are you going? What are you doing? I'm trying to touch the tail. You're just trying to touch the tail? I'm trying to touch the tail. Here, buddy. What? Yeah. I thought I touched it. Seen people use human hair for jigs? What? That's wild. Yeah. Give that jig haircut. Tickle that belly, yeah. Okay, Daddy. I did it. I did it. I did it, Daddy. I did it. You got it? I got a dad sticker. You got a sticker. Did I get the dad sticker? Yeah. Yeah. That is dinosaur. Dinosaur scary. Dinosaur scary. Yeah, that is big dinosaur. Big dinosaur. <laughs> Are you serious? You're so scary, boy. I'm not that boy. You are a scary boy. That is that boy. I'm not a scary boy. You tell daddy. You're a scary baby. You, I tell baby. You tell daddy. I'm going to leave that one just like it is. I'm not going to put any. Uh, <laughs> I was in Matt the gray hairs. I said he's last. I've got a, uh, I'm starting to get a lot of them. Daddy, 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 you want it? That's my watch. Daddy, you want Yep, that's my watch. Don't try to take it off. Take it off. Don't try to take it off. I'll hold it. Okay, don't, don't release it yet. I want to hold it. Yeah, don't release it yet. Okay, yeah, I want to hold it. I want to hold it. Don't release it yet. All right, now can you pick it up? Oh, that one's pretty tight. Here. Hopefully it's... That one was way tight, buddy. I think that'll catch for fish for That's sure. That's a little baby hook. <laughs> it is a little baby hook. That's a little baby hook. Daddy, don't, daddy, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I won't, buddy. Thank you for being so concerned. Daddy, don't hurt, daddy, don't you, don't hurt yourself. Okay, I won't. Thank you, though. Thank you for check, making sure I don't hurt myself. I you tried to lay down? You can put your head on my shoulder if you're tired. You I tired? don't have a binky. You don't have a binky? You buried the binky in the rocks at the college, remember? Do you remember burying your binky? It's <laughs> in Matt the gray hairs. Yeah, I've got, got a few coming in up there. I want you. Look at all that mess. Daddy, you turn your head? Yeah, I'm showing my gray hairs. There's Dylan's face. <laughs> Some salt and that pepper. <laughs> yeah, I know it. Happy birthday, kid. Whose birthday is it? That's my test. That's your what? That's my test. See my test? Your chin. That's my beard. You don't have a beard. <laughs> Crazy. Baba, have a beard? Baba does have a beard. And I don't have a beard. Lola does not have a beard. And Daddy has a beard. Daddy kind of has a beard. His is mine's just weak. I see a beard. You see? Oh. Daddy has a beard. <laughs> he has a beard. Daddy. What happened? That's all the hair from the jigs from the flies. I trimmed them, so now I gotta get them out of the box. I got it. It's beard. Beard? Baba has a beard. Dylan's too funny. He is. He's a stinker. I don't have a beard. Jocelyn does not have a beard, no. And Nene don't have a beard. No, and Nene don't have a beard. And Nene don't have a beard. And Dylan 
don't have beards. Nene or Dylan, neither one have beards. And, That's crazy. And Dota don't have beards. No, the dinosaur don't even have a beard. Dota don't have beards. Don't have beards. <laughs> Who's that? Is that Mama? Mama, take the tower. Mama, you take the tower. I did. Mm. Uh, Daddy, Daddy, Bloody. you take the tower. I will later. Here, Oopa. Okay, All right, catch you later, alligator. All right. So white. Go back to doing what we're trying to hit. Trying to find um, the white for Jeremy. Try to get some of that white feather. You're doing a good job. You going over there? Yeah. My feet, so no more. No more on the Sophie feet. Old. Old feet. Old. What size is this jig right here that I'm currently tying or this jig? The white one or the brown one? they be two different sizes both the brown is a one one thirty second this is a one sixteenth I believe because this is a sixty fourth Yeah, so this would be a 32nd. This is a 16th. Buddy, you want to get over here again? Yeah. Do you got to show them your dinosaur? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> For that 132nd, this guy? Uh. <laughs> I don't know, just the one, $25. It ain't that much. Well, I can make some more, um, more than one. One's going to hurt for, especially having to mess with shipping. Is it, is it teeth? That's a silly teeth. That's a silly teeth. Silly teeth? Silly. Eat that bucktail. <laughs> Eat that jig, dinosaur. Dinosaur's gonna eat the flies. Come here. Doesn't do it. Come here. Are you spanking the dinosaur? Daddy, want to the dinosaur? My, you better did. Daddy, hit it. Daddy, want to hit the dinosaur? I don't want to hit him. You do. I you? don't. Oh, um, Daddy, hit my ear. Oh no. How many Daddy hit him? How many? I'll text you, Corey, Help about me, the <laughs> about pricing and stuff. Help you, help you, help you with the dinosaur eating your finger. Oh my goodness. Help me, Daddy. Help me. Are you okay? I don't take him out. I got it. I got your finger out. Is that okay? I take finger out. Ow, 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 ow. He's eating me out. Thank you for the help. My goodness. I don't want to leave. What? The bad flash. Okay. Okay. You're going to just stay off of me. You got to stay over there, buddy. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put your dinosaurs over there so we know where they are. What is up? There, Mr. Travis. How you doing, man? We um we did all right. Yeah, it wasn't uh I'm not able to like retire or anything, but 
it was fun. And to be honest, it was just really cool to watch the boxing, man. It was really neat. We, um, we don't have anything ever exciting happen in our hometown. So the fact that we had a little boxing event was kind of cool, but make a dinosaur jig for Thumpy. I guarantee you that man would use it and catch crappie on it. For Corey, for Thumpy. I'm going to try to put some of this in there to kind of mimic some of that speckled in that Bobby Garland. The speckled bits? The speckled bits. Only a good speckled bait. Yeah. Oh, man. I need the booty out of the diaper bag. What? I need the booty out of the jig box. I'd enjoy watching a fight and tying selling jigs, yeah. Haven't watched a fight like those since a kid. It was really cool, man. It was a neat little event. It was, um, there was, I don't know, how many people were there, babe? A hundred-ish people, probably. Oh. I guess. Yeah, maybe. It wasn't a lot of people. It wasn't like hundreds. Yeah, maybe like a hundred people there. It wasn't a huge, huge event, but guys and gals, like, yeah, it was very unorganized, and it was not well advertised at all for like around our area. <laughs> yeah. Get up at four to load the kayak up, make a two-hour drive. Talk to you guys soon. Good night. All right, Domingo, be careful. Thank you for dropping in. What time is it his time? And uh, we'd be the same time zone. But he says he's got to get up at 4 a.m. to load the kayak and head out to fish, so. It's been like six hours. Oh, my gosh, you found your match, babe. Huh? It's been like six hours. You found your match. Oh, yeah. Somebody else that doesn't sit very much. All right, now I got some pink here. Put on top of that speckled white stuff and then see what it looks like. Done making the chocolate covered pretzels. Hang with him now and watch the movie. All right, Dan, I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us tonight. And we'll catch you on the next one. Yes, sir. I appreciate you dropping in here and hanging out with us, Dan. Y'all have a good evening, my friend. Yeah, it was just a uh, boxing. It was the Arkansas State Junior Olympics. So I don't know. That ain't really. That really ain't it. But pink and white. The white's supposed to have some. Uh, white's supposed to have speckle in it, but it kind of. Probably still catch a fish though. What's up, Glenn? Still listening in? Appreciate it. Yeah, we're messing around. 
doing the normal stuff. Normal stuff that's not normal. There's your 64th ounce there, Corey. Let's see what it looks like. Trout would love that. Yeah, man. For sure. Let's see what. Yeah. Probably just one. They got the dot duos. The old dot duo. It's but it's two. You, it's a discount on two cards or whatever. Oh okay. Yeah. I cut cut my hair off before I before I was ready. Put it in the old hackle pliers and hold it. I'm trying to make a small one with like a little longer tail. Yeah, if it was more trout, a, a lot of the jigs that we took to, um, the event with us this weekend was really bright colored. I think if we were in more of a trout area, we might have done a little better on them. But the bucktails were a hit for sure because everyone around here bass fishes, so... Are you getting it? It's tore it up. What is it? I've literally just received money. From what? Oh, for real? Oh. Is he, did he just buy something? I guess, yeah. I just seen it too. All right, Corey. <laughs> Crack me what, up. What did he buy? I have no idea. I mean, I do know. That He's, man buys something every Saturday. I know. That's he said five of these, but... What is it? No. What is it? Just a little bitty. Okay, tell him we'll have to, um, we'll have to ship it out Monday. Cause... Yeah. Or, tell, or Tuesday, probably. No rush. We'll get it out. Yeah, she's she's yeah. over there like, tell him, tell him we'll ship it out Tuesday, she said. so. If that's okay with him. If that's all right with you. Give us some time to think. Just waiting. For the creativity, yeah. This one right here is going to be all right. I like it. Putting sure money down. Do what? Are you sure we don't need two? Two dot cards? Yeah. I mean, probably if we both have one, it'd be I better. I we both should have one, right? Yeah. They're 20 bucks a piece. Yeah. All it is is a debit card thing that has a QR code that people scan and it has all of our socials on it. Yeah. Um, what are my color options? Do they have like an olive green or anything? Um, we've got red, yellow, mint, green, blue, purple, white, or black. Is the mint green? I mean, is the green, is it a dark green? Um, the, the mint is really pretty. That's what I want. The green, I'm pretty sure we're the same color as our Mac. The back side of our Mac. That'd be good. You know the front side's pretty? Yeah. Pretty green? But yeah. then the entire back of the Mac is like a darker green? Yeah. You want the green? Yes. All right, you got that one trimmed up. A discount. Does anybody have a dot card? Have y'all heard anything about that? We're ordering two right now, apparently. But they are... Um, Not right now, but I'm looking at them. Yeah, what they are is like a debit card, basically, that you can carry on you at all times that has like a cute... Or it's a debit card-shaped thing. Two at a time? 
Or mine. But it has like a QR code to where somebody can scan it and it pulls up all of your information, all of your um, social medias, all of your cash apps and your PayPal and all that mess. So, oh. Look at that guy. That one right there is sweet. I'm looking at the basic one. They've got a, shop, a custom shop where you can get like something printed on it. Right. And then it's 55 Ouch. That was good. Yeah. Johnny, a great idea. Flounder season. Oh, yeah. Gonna have to place another order for bucktails. Okay. Dude, that would be wicked. If you catch a flounder on that thing, on one of our bucktail jigs, that would be incredible to get a picture of. Flounder are insane looking. I've never, I mean, of course, I've never seen one in person, but. Um, the dot card, Glenn, is just like a debit card shaped thing. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, a dude explained it to us today. Said it's basically the size of a business card. It has a QR code on it. And he said it looks like a debit card. It sounds like something that would get you hacked quick. It doesn't have like my bank account information. All it has is like hey. our cash app. So like with cash app, you can print out a QR code or whatever, hold it up on Sophie's phone. Like today, she held up her phone for people and it would just pull it right up and then they could send you money. And it just, that dot card has like a QR code that pulls up everything, all of your socials and everything. Hey, so, it looks like a debit card, but it is a business card. Yeah, it looks like a debit card, but it is a, a digital business card is what the website says. Yeah, digital business card is all I it is. A Corey, that right there is a 64th ounce, and it is super fine, and it is, that thing right there is going to be sweet. I need to make me some of those, some stuff. <laughs> Dude, make me three. <laughs> the whole digital age, I love it, yeah. Who said that? Uh, Corey said the whole digital age. Johnny said make me three. Three. Of those. I'm, that was my last, um, okay, I'm a, I'm a bum and don't have any of my stuff powder coated. <laughs> so I don't have anything, any more black. That was my last black head. I've got like some little, um, 64th in that teal color. Oh yeah, for sure. Just, I meant like tying right now in front of them. We're not going to be able to. No. Just send those sickle jig heads to yours truly. Hey, I had a guy pick up my bag. I had like bags of 200 of each of our jig heads. Yeah, and he like, before I knew it, had one of these bags in his hand. He was like, hey, how much for this bag? I'm like, no. Because <laughs> I took all that and I took all of our paints and stuff and had all of our... Yeah, we had a little display kind of set up and took the vice and all that good stuff, so. It was a it was a neat time. I took everything with the intentions of tying and then ended up never never tying there, so. All right, what else we got? With hairs attached, of course, <laughs> yeah. We will for sure, yes sir. That's that's an awesome use for the brown side because the brown side of a deer tail is really short and it's not really usable for the big bucktails, but it is usable for making some crazy stuff. Gotta hit the sack. Jeffro, thank you, sir, for coming in here and and hanging out with us tonight. We sure appreciate you. Hope you have a good day and a good week as well. Hope you enjoyed seeing a couple little bucktails. Um, that's a little bucktail hair jig for, that is a 164th ounce. And then, you know, a little, little bigger size here is a 116th ounce. And then of course the quarter, well, 
the quarter ounce that you've seen at the beginning of this. And I'll do better. Next week I'll have some blackheads made. And we will uh, we'll make some of those guacamole jigs. Because I think with that guacamole, put some of this green-ish flash down the sides. Mix it in nice with some brown. It's going to look really super natural. It'll look a lot like a bluegill. So that'll look really good. It's like a, you know, a normal jig has browns and greens on a normal jig. So, look good. Colored eyes. I do not have any colored eyes. Our eyes come in just like this on a sticker sheet. Hey, Big Malone knows. Yeah, that is, that's the hookup right here for these rubber skirts. I wish that it was on a blackhead. That is just totally me. That's nothing to do with the skirt. Yeah, Big Malone knows. He's the one that sent me all these skirts. Yeah. Yeah, that bluegill pattern is just awesome. These are all beautiful. Yeah, Big Malone knows the bassin. The old bassin jigs. This one right here is awesome too. But this is probably my favorite. That blues and watermelon. Awesome stuff. For sure. Trailer options, too, yeah. There is a bunch of trailer options. I'm going to put some different color thread on here. I <laughs> don't know much, but you know a few tricks. Cut one pincher off, really. Is that the trick? They swim better like that or something? Get the old spooling machine here. What's happening? <laughs> I get the old uh, drill out for whenever the spools of thread that I buy are too big for my, they're kind of a bulk. And they're way too wide for my um, thing. my bobbin so I have to put it on a spool that fits looks like an easy target oh I got you I don't have to cut one off on the bass short strike I'm always taking my legs yeah no doubt don't you have a special one for your fishing line too I've got one that helps me um helps me put the line on Yeah, that is a straight up pipe cleaner wrapped around a drill bit. <laughs> I 
I was thinking about this and like this crazy stuff down here at the bottom. Hey, Squirrels Magnet Fishing. How are you doing, sir? I appreciate you dropping in here and hanging out with us tonight. Hope you're doing great. Green eggs and ham. <laughs> Get a little bit of brown, a little bit of green there. But on a jig, doing great. Awesome. Would not like them anywhere but on a jig. It's exactly where I want my green eggs and ham too. How much hair is too much hair on a hair jig? It's gonna come out hot. We're about to see, man. Got a lime green thread on it too. It's gonna look pretty sweet. Seem to have good luck with one thirty second jigs with smallies. Awesome. Corey, you see how I always wrap down the shank and then I come back to the head. That asbestos jig, I think what come loose is that right there. They've pulled that off. They've pulled that thread down off of the shank of the hook and it's kind of come untwisted. That is the only thing that I can figure out. Oh, it's still good? Okay. Man, that really bothered me a lot. I thought it was, like, falling apart. I was like, what in the world is going on? What is silicone made out of? Silicone is made out of... Is it plastic or... Yeah. Like a plastic rubber kind of? Yeah. Damage control. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't get it. Let me trim some of that stuff off there. I guess like we said before, you can cut more hair off if there's too much hair. But you can't add more once it's tied, so... Better leave her a little long. Like the way you make your own jigs? Awesome. I appreciate it. It's uh, it's fun. Good way to pass the time. and Gives me something to do while I'm on live stream too, which is big. Kind of beats just having to sit there and try to talk to everybody for watch hours. We can kind of give y'all something a little bit to watch, and I enjoy it a whole lot. Oh, squirrels, Corey's friend. Nice. Somebody want to swap shot? Mm -hmm. missing our Anatolian shepherd. What the heck is that? I have no idea. Anatolian Shepherd. Sounds expensive. Yeah, it does. Do y'all know what an Anatolian Shepherd is? I've never heard about it, ever. I neither. Yeah, I went into... Do what, babe? AGFC is seeking information on a bald eagle shooting. Ooh. Ooh. Arkansas Game and Fish Commission is seeking information on a bald eagle shooting. Where at? Yaleville, oh, that's up, not, it's nowhere around us, but. Offering a reward of up to 
information. I hope they find out who done it and they get the fullest extent. They shot four bald eagles in Marion County, Arkansas. Isn't that like... I don't know what people are so isn't stupid. Isn't like four times the fines that they're going to get? Or would they each get one if it's like four They would get four times as much, yeah. Because it's just four birds and they die? Absolutely, yeah. The birds die? Yeah. They're not nature, though. They go hard, shepherd. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Bald eagles are in nature? They're very highly protected. They're a national bird, yeah. Well, I know that. It's like a... Are they endangered? Yeah, yeah, I think it's like a quarter million dollar fine. And like 10 years in prison or something. It's something insane. Dang. Weirdest or oddest thing you've ever fished with. Mine was an old sock with stink bait juice and it worked. What the heck? Cigarette butts? Shoestring? Wow. I feel like a warden up here. In Jersey with ospreys and little defenseless animals. Man, that is... I don't know what's wrong with people, man. Shooting a bald eagle is... I love seeing them. I mean, it's always just... It excite, it's exciting to see them, I think. What? A bald eagle. The comment somehow says that... There's an article. I'm going to read it. Yeah. There was other animals that were shot, too. Oh, wow. Somebody just having them what do y'all think about the old guacamole? I thought you were going to wait. God made animals first and then man. Yep. Hey, I thought you were going to wait on the guacamole. I put it on a little jig just to see. Oh, is it okay? Yes, it looks so nice. I can't see it from here. My eyes are burning. Oh. <laughs> Johnny, hope it all comes out all right, man. That's hilarious. People are so dumb shooting a bald eagle. Five more. All right. Yep. Sure enough. Now that is a. That's a sixteenth ounce. That one's heavy. I'll um I'll do five though for sure. And you want sixty fourth, or you want thirty seconds? Sixty fourth, my man. I knew it. If you want five sixty fourths, for sure. I'll text you tomorrow and like we'll I'll get I'll get your order straight so that way I don't uh, mess it up. Hey, Mr. Earl, check that right there out, man. That is a guacamole avocado or guacamole colored. Two two hundred fifty thousand in two years in federal prison. Green eggs and ham with different accents. Mix it up. Gotcha. This being your accent color, that lime green. Looks horrible. <laughs> yeah, you cracked me up. Keep telling him, let's see it in the aquarium. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is so messed up to kill one, yeah. Hey, did you hear me? What's up? Um, there were, the eagles were discovered February 13th, and it revealed that they were shot mid-February 13th, 't a red-tailed hawk a dog a white-tailed deer and a domestic dog and a just a domesticated like a dog and four bald eagles, and four bald eagles. what the heck man they list the county road too. that's insane definitely awful uh, doofus with a gun yeah ugly as the way yeah for sure Mr. Earl said, uh, Sophie, oh, spelled out crazy. She said, mm. she's over there. Yeah, there wasn't no sparkle on that one. Sleeper, I didn't, uh, I don't know. Corey, do you want some, like, flash in, in yours? Some flash down them? No need, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. On the hair jigs, on that small. The bass ones, yeah. Looks odd. I appreciate it. Later. All right. Sweet. Yeah, a little guacamole tail. 
that's all my 64s. I'll have to, I'll have to paint, get you some more painted. Is Chelsea missing her dog? I don't know. I have no idea. There's a blue-yellow female that somebody's trying to get rid of her. Kind of looks like her. Oh. I don't know. Sleeper barbecue hanging out with us still. I appreciate it. I know earlier you said you was on a different live. I didn't know if you'd done a done headed back or I appreciate you hanging out with us yeah we went hit up a little the college pond that y'all have seen us at before um, we hit it this afternoon after the event the boxing event was over just to sling around the old buzz bait, and then my father in law threw the uh, threw one of our jigs it was, around. Yeah. It was just all, like all green. All green, yeah. Green yeah. head, green body, green tail. Green head, green body, green tail. And he caught the fish too. He caught a bass on it, and then I caught two. Ouch! Two on that uh, the old buzzing buzzing bucktail. We almost wanted to throw the chatterbait around that we tied but didn't um didn't really want to risk losing it to be honest because we were using sophie's we keep two rods just kind of for emergency fishing you know in case we see a hole somewhere and they are a uh, little zebco like eight pound eight pounds test so i didn't want to throw that chatterbait around i was kind of nervous throwing the old buzzbait around but yeah emergency fishing rods <laughs> yeah 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 that was at the college we didn't have to break the ice this time though but we tried last time you know but it didn't work glenn anytime you're ready man i'd be happy to that'd be sweet I could actually get some nice jigs in my hand. See what that's like. That'd be cool. Earl, did you ever get Glenn's jigs out in the ocean? I don't think I've ever seen the, the outcome of that. That would be sweet. Huh? Sweet to hear how that went. Next weekend on walleye, smallmouth, and crappie. Dang. That'd be sweet. They absolutely gonna catch smallmouth and crappie. I have absolutely no idea about wall walleye. Oh, I forget stuff, Corey. Just uh, nothing when it pertains to fishing. I pretty much remember. If they suck, don't post it, dude. I feel you. I know. I'm always freaking out about that, too. See, I learned from you now. Um, to not send them down to florida anyone on here from jersey i will <laughs> i need footage forget them every time i've gone but i was fishing for the lean cod anyways man you catch that uh catch your pb cabazon i'm assuming i don't know how to pronounce it but that is an insane looking fish that was an awesome looking fish for sure
Smoky boy. Clyde. My wife's Ken Folk landed in Jersey. Yeah, Johnny, I think you may be the only Jersey one we got. Oh, Jessica, that would be awesome. We sure would appreciate it. Oki boy. Corey's from Oki. Oh, it was not your PB. Oh, it was your... Okay, gotcha. Still, that's just, that thing is, looks like an alien. They're insane looking. Yeah, I got some new thread that that's a new color. It's really it's a wax kind of a waxy. Pretty sweet. Cabazon's pronounced correctly. Jigs from Ted to fish with, but I've only crappie fish once this spring. They don't hit a curly tail. Yeah, it is pretty much chartreuse, yeah. Uh let's see what the actual color is called. It doesn't say. It's color number 6840. That's what it says. And there was a lot of people today, Glenn, at the, or the last two days at the event talking about, you know, the only thing we really ever use is curly tails. Like, well, I'm gonna be honest, that's kind of the, the hardest thing in the world to beat. And it's hard to compare like a hair jig to a curly tail. Those are kind of two different things, but I guess they're trying to target the same species, so. Little bitty guy there. I don't know where. Oh, it's over. Curly tails mimic hair jigs. <laughs> Green eggs and ham, probably. Yeah. Let's see. And then we got a pink. Only colors for these I've got is pink and um. This would look good. Let's tie one of these on. That'd look cool. Don't start that. Yep, my bad. And this color right here, gonna look good on this head. <clears throat> A hairy curly tail. <laughs> A hairy curly tail. What are you doing? Yeah. I'm just hanging out. Just hanging around. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Does anybody watch the um, Bassmaster Elite series? Been watching, kind of keeping up with it somewhat, just mainly through... Um, through Instagram, but I was watching Matt Robertson was in the, uh, was leading it the last two days, but today he wasn't. Did those heads come in a green and blue package? No, they didn't. I'll show you. Let me get this. I'll show you. Oh, Johnny, you can go to like Bassmaster.com and watch it um live stream online, man. You don't have to have... We don't have cable either, but I just watch it all through Bassmaster.com and they live stream on there. They're actually at um 
oh, Sandy Cooper Chain of Lakes, I think, right now in South Carolina. North Carolina? I mean, I'm pretty, pretty certain it's South Carolina, but either way, it doesn't really matter, I guess. There's Santee Cooper. Somebody took the lead today with like over 70 pounds. Um, those heads. These heads did not come in a blue and green package. These heads come in a package just like this. And it's got a VMC 3 aught casting. Just a brief detail of what I order whenever I order these heads. And then I coat them. That is a little more light wire hook than I was going with prior. That's a, still a 3 aught, still VMC. Hey, Cole, number 19 on the like, man. I appreciate it. What's up? Yeah, that's what they look like. Quarter ounce, 3 aught VMC head or hook. Watch all MLF sometimes. I have a friend of the fish that don't follow bass musters. When is the live coatings? The only... I, I could do that. The only problem is, is just like... I set up just like in the kitchen. I haven't messed with any two-tone. I want... I need to also. But um, I just kind of set up in the kitchen and y'all would just kind of be... Chilling with me in, on the countertop. But... And it's kind of a loud process with the heat gun, so I don't know how well the audio would come through either. It would just kind of be like listening to a blow dryer the whole time. So essentially, all a heat gun is just really revved up, hot. But I thought about doing a live though. I've not figured out two tones. I haven't attempted two tones yet. Um, I need to. Something else I'm going to try. Live color picking. That would be cool, man. You're right. Fantasy Fishing League. Nice. Yeah. Do the Fantasy Fishing League. It's free. I've, I've messed around with that, Travis, man, and tried some fantasy fishing, but I'm horrible at it. And also, like, just the um, diligence to like stay on top of it and do it every single week or whatever. Yeah, appreciate it, Cole. Like number 19, now we're up to number 20. Y'all are awesome. Be buying lots of those jigs, I mean bags. Would be buying lots of those jigs. Oh yeah, just to just to pick their colors. Yeah, so the guy that I buy them from that makes these, he pours the lead on the hook. That's the only part of this that I am not doing right now. And I will get into that eventually. I want to get a centrifugal lead casting machine um, just for, like, efficiency's sake. Then pick hairs. I tell you, man. Literally start to finish. Pick your color. Pick the size. Pick the color. Pick what kind of hair you want. Yeah, that would be a pretty sweet thing right there. Small paintbrush. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I don't... Yeah, I think, like, you can splatter that powder paint while the head's still hot. You can throw powder, and it'll kind of... Who did I learn how to tie my own jigs from? Um, YouTube? Pretty much. Yeah, just 100% YouTube. I didn't have anybody show me anything. And then just messing around, trying stuff, and then realizing that that didn't work, so trying something else. And Yeah, Corey, for sure, in time. Yeah, I'll get that together, though. That'd be sweet. YouTube certified. Tap it off the brush over the head. Dude, nice. 
Yeah, YouTube certified. That's where I, uh, I learned how to do everything, man. Literally, there is pretty much nothing in the world that you, um, that you can't find on YouTube. It's actually insane. That dude right there is funny. Ginger, what do you know? Ginger Billy. Yeah, he's funny. I learned trout fishing from YouTube. Yeah, I've learned pretty much everything that I know about life from YouTube. I feel like <laughs> sounds ridiculous to say that, but Squirrels magnet vision. Yeah, you'll pick him up. Yeah, Johnny. That underwater footage is where it's at, man, for sure. We, like, literally our second or maybe third video on YouTube ever, we tried, like, some underwater stuff. Trout fishing, like, releasing some trout. We kind of just haven't gotten the camera back underwater. It's a saying now, YouTube it, yeah, for sure. Gosh. Yeah, you can YouTube absolutely everything, man. No joke. We had a guy at the boxing event looking for food in town. It was like asking us where the best food, best barbecue was in town. We sent him to the gas station. That's where uh, that's where we've got our best our best barbecues at one of our gas stations. Didn't know any about magnet fishing, just like you watching on YouTube. Absolutely. YouTube University is where I've graduated from, so not really, but they're going to look up tying jigs and there's Matt and Sophie and Dill, <laughs> dinosaurs. They're going to be disappointed if they try to watch something of mine to learn. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube's, that's hilarious. You want to change your oil? Want to rig up a drop shot? Or even learn how to cook chicken 237 ways? YouTube's got you covered. Gas station food. Yeah, man, it's just a little barbecue. He, The dude smokes some food out, out back behind the gas station. And it's good. Real good. Those gizzards. They ain't got no chicken. They ain't got no gizzards there, but... Sleeper might get bad, mad. <laughs> Barbecue burritos. Uh oh. Your fave, huh? That sounds good. Bucky's. Dude, Bucky's is. If those are talking about the gas station in Texas, Bucky's, those are insane. Barbecue chicken pizza, yes, sir. On my travel list, <laughs> meet up with Matt and Sophie. Go fishing with them. Interview video of Matt. <laughs> Barbecue at the gas station. Heck yeah, that's a good trip, man. We can make it happen. If you're ever in our area, we'll for sure make it all happen.
<laughs> yep. Corey, he's like, same. Oh, I was saying about the bass tournament earlier. Yeah, sleeper barbecue. Uh, Bucky's is insane. That's a that's a really great gas station. I'm assuming so. There, you're from Texas, then. That's pretty much have to be. I know, like they, the world's biggest Bucky's was actually in Tennessee, but Texas brought the title back home. They built an even bigger one because Tennessee outdid them, and Texas wasn't gonna have it. So, oh yeah, the jerky. Hey, there's a spot close to us called Burl's that has jerky that is insanely good as well. Glenn might know if he's still in here where Burl's is. Over in Crystal Springs, close to Mount Ida. That's a little more north than he is, but you might know if he's ever been through there. Oh, some blue. This deer hair smells good. The blue that I've dyed, it is, um, that is dyed with blue raspberry Kool-Aid. So that's kind of like what it smells like. Pretty funny. Okay, I'm gonna go lay down. All right. Cool. Okay. Good night. Am I gonna bother you with the light on? No. Okay, I love you. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Huh? Do what? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, straw rabies. Strawberries do smell nice. Yeah, Sophie's gonna head upstairs, so she's not feeling well, so. She's gonna go ahead and hit the hay. They're all saying good night. Yeah. Stay hydrated, yeah, no doubt. Oh, you're in Maryland. Nice. The beef jerky outlet. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, good original original name. Some good ghost reaper jerky. Man, that sounds spicy. Oh, yeah. Most of them are from Texas. Bucky's and H-E-B. Morning, morning sickness at midnight. No. Bucky's an awesome place. You've been there once. Nice. Um, H E B is like stands for like here everything's better. <laughs> Just because that's kind of like the Texas mentality. Throw that last little bit on there too. Why not? Just had some place like y'all's. Man, Johnny, you got Wawa. Don't you got Wawa close to you? It's a pretty good gas station. Just at 6,800. Dang, Mr. Earl. That's awesome. Congratulations for sure. That's huge. I need to hit, uh, I need to borrow about 200 of them, if you don't mind. <laughs> Those are okay. Oh, yeah. I just heard a lot of hype, like, about Wawa. 6801 now, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Just subbed. Nice. Sixty-eight oh two. Going crazy.
get this trimmed down a little bit and then we'll uh, get some flash in there and then we'll cinch it all down. Wawa subs are yummy. Nice. Let me get everything kind of kind of tidied back up. Send like one to me for 205. Nice. <laughs> Second wind. Yes, sir. Jeremy, I'm never asleep, man. I did try while you're here, Jeremy. Check this out. See what you think. It's kind of a somewhat of an attempt at your um pink topped white speckledy body. It's out of feather, of course, but it's kind of speckled up. A pink top. But really, that light fades it out, washes it out a lot. There you go. Anyway. What happened? Just a hop, skip, and a jump from Maryland? <laughs> That's just kind of a... Dark backgrounds help with the color show. Well... That's black. It's washing it out though, the light. All Maryland has this good wah wah. <laughs> Same difference in my opinion. Cleaning the crab and cooking it? Oh, that's I'm jealous. That's awesome. Eight just like that. An eight like that with a wider chartreuse head. All right, sweet. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll text you, Jeremy, and we'll get that get that squared away, man. With a white or chartreuse head, I definitely have both. That's the chartreuse. It's not really a chartreuse actually that I have. It's a green head. There's another green. It's kind of a green compared to chartreuse. Yeah, lime would be a better. But um, white for sure. I've got white. Just white as white as it. Yeah, the avocado. Yeah, the white, the white one here. And that's the skunk buster because it looks like a skunk. The black and white. That's the secret weapon right there. Is the skunk buster. Black and white. Black and white heads. All right. Yes, sir. Eight black and eight white. We can for sure do that for you. Favorite color of turquoise. Oh, yeah. I forgot what I was doing here. I just seen Jeremy pop back in. I wanted to show him that little attempt at. I guess really the colors would need to be opposite, correct? How this, how the hook is facing right now. No, that would be right, yeah. Cause it's gonna be facing like that. White's gonna actually be on bottom. I mean, the pink is gonna be on bottom, which is the way that that Bobby Garland also would be in the water. So that's good. That's awesome. Sleeper, I'm going to make you a moderator as well because I just try to make everyone who comes in here that, you know, that I recognize has been in here before, um, make them a moderator. It makes it easier to pick up each other's channels and stuff, you know. 
I like to get some of that blue flash here for this blue jig. I won't, yeah, no doubt. Sleeper is awesome, yes, for sure. I've seen him a lot on other channels as well. He's a super, super involved guy, so I'm happy to have him here. Part of our family. That grub. Yeah, we got distracted talking about the food. Yeah, I definitely won't forget, Jeremy. I'll text you tomorrow, man. In between, uh, in between church services, and uh, I'll let you know. Put some. Now, the boxing events today, um, I'll be grubbing. I'm a fat boy. Y'all, you know I am. Crash for real. Good Lord willing. Be on the river tomorrow. Awesome. Well, good luck tomorrow, my friend. Be safe out there. And I'll talk to you tomorrow as well, so. Glad you stopped back by, stopped in here. Went ahead and tried to tried to hit your color, so. Yeah, the golden gloves. Do great work on your jig tying. Thank you so much, Squirrel. I appreciate it. It means a lot. We try, so. It's kind of slow. On live stream, I'm slow. I mean, I'm kind of slow anyway, but I'm really slow on, uh, on here because I try to also keep up with chat and talk to everybody yeah i am six four six three six four if i stand up real straight i should have said 20 yeah like six four i commend that I am thorough, yeah. I try to be, man. I just, I don't want to ever send anybody something that's going to fall apart. And then, I, as I say that, Corey had one today literally fall apart. But it's out of that crazy asbestos Christmas tree thing that we play around with. And I don't know. I wasn't ever really confident in how it was going to hold. But it, it didn't fall apart. What happened is whenever I tie the... The, the fish did it. That's a good problem to have, a lot of bites. Whenever I tie, not on these because I stay between this gap so that whenever you can use these bucktails, if you ever do want to throw a trailer on them, I don't cover up that, the little bait keeper that's on there. I don't have any idea if y'all can see that or not, but there's a little bait keeper in there and I do not cover that up. That way, if you do want to use, put some kind of like grub worm or a fluke, like um, Johnny was saying earlier, you can still, you can still use it. I don't cut them off, man. I know a lot of people say cut it off. The way these heads are figured to be a quarter ounce includes this. That's kind of my argument against cutting them off. And also you have the availability of using a trailer. If you want it, it'll help keep your trailer on there a little more. If you don't want it, that's fine. And then of course the, um, the hooks that I'm going to now with all the mustad hooks that we're going to, the sickles, they don't have the hook keeper. When you tie mine, make me a few super heavy, super heavy ones. Bigger the better. Um, 
All right, so that one that I just held up, do you know what's like kind of generally what size you use? This is a 1 16th ounce head. And then going down, I've got 32nd and 64th, but coming up, the only other size that I have bigger is an eighth ounce head. And that's pretty heavy for like crappie jigs. And then the eighth ounce heads are like this, which this is that asbestos material. But that's an eighth ounce compared to that 16th the white being the eighth ounce. What do you all get fed at home only five, seven? That's hilarious. <laughs> Corey, take your hat off, like salute the asbestos. You're so silly. Gosh, that's funny. Yeah. Six one with boots, that's what I'm talking about. Eight of each, eighth ounce. All of them eighth ounce, sweet. Yes, sir. I'll, uh, we'll for sure do it. I'll tie them, I'll tie them tomorrow. I'll have to get them painted and everything. Four of the largest you've got. This is the largest I've got, and this is, um, these have a three-aught VMC hook. And I'm not going to be able to, the feathers aren't going to look right on here because they're going to be a little too, too short. But, so the eighth ounce, what I'm saying, the eighth ounce is going to be the heaviest I've got. Yeah, eighth ounce is as heavy as I've got on the, on the ball head jigs. Holler at me. Good night. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I appreciate it, Mr. Jeremy. Thank you so much. Boots make a lot of man. <laughs> Thank you, Wolo. I appreciate it. Try to make sure I get all the Loose ends buttoned up. I do cash up, yes, sir. Yeah, I'll send you all that tomorrow. Um, we can get squared away and all that good stuff, so. Yes, sir, we sure do. I mean, let me get this one tied off and then. Heading out to bed. All right, Mr. Johnny. Man, I'm glad you made it to a live tonight. Thank you for hanging out with us. I really look forward to seeing what you can work up like we were talking about earlier with the making a little sweet little video collab is going to be a lot of fun man so i'm pretty excited about it yes sir nice to see you too man thank you so much for hanging out and being a part of our family and our live stream and all that good stuff tonight i'll holler at you on the on the instagram too man yeah for sure heck yeah I think that one actually ended up with six wraps, but it'll be all right. All right, there's another blue one. Get all the loose stuff pulled out. That's it, 224 more to go. <laughs> Yep, little blue guy. 
the turquoise head, blue head, and that. I really like that waxy, shiny thread now. That's, that is sweet. Blue. Pretty neat. And we got some pink. <laughs> Fire, thank you, sir. Man, I uh, took a few of the jigs that were um, all white. Travis, they were all white with just some silver that like just like you'd gotten, and uh, they went quick. I mean, no no joke. So these heads, thank you, Mr. Squirrel, appreciate it. These heads are heads that I messed up powder coating. See the eyes, I mean, not the eyes, but the eyes themselves are too full of paint. And that powder coating is super, super hard. So these I'm gonna have to heat up some, like heat up a needle or something to get, to get that, uh, get that eyelet cleaned out. Well, I can tie something to them and then do that later. It's no big deal. I don't think I have enough blue thread. Great clear water bait and dirty water. Nice. I don't think I have enough blue thread to do a big one left on that spool. The way that I do is I just kind of eyeball how much, how much I've got. I don't want to do blue anyway. So we'll do some some of these little guys in blue. Burn through that blue thread. Oh, I don't waste it. Diverse for bass, yeah. Bust out a couple of just normal feather jigs real quick. 49 five ounce flutter jigs to use today in the ocean, but couldn't even fish because it was too rough. I don't even, a five ounce, that's insane. That's extremely heavy is what I'm. That's wild. I don't have a rod that could handle anything five ounces. It might be a cool thing for you to video, Earls. How do you how you make your own like do it yourself flutter spoons? If you haven't already, I haven't seen it. If you have, so pretty interesting. Can't even get that to the bottom. Ocean is a terrifying place. Bowling ball, <laughs> yeah, no joke. The depth. The ocean's terrifying. Have a video or two. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, live scope can pick it up. A live scope can pick up a 64th ounce jig. I don't know what a bowling ball would look like. Man, whenever um one of my buddies took me out on his boat, um I was actually looking at a used graph whenever I was buying a graph. And I was looking at a graph that he has on his boat. And he we were 
he was live scoping, kind of showing me live scope. First time I'd ever seen it in person. And a loon popped up beside us, like a little a black, kind of looks like a duck. Popped up right five foot from the edge of the boat. And he just instinctively like panned his live scope over. And that thing dove down and we watched it on live scope chase a ball of shad. He followed it until it got, you know, out of the live scope range. It was insane though. Why I love the ocean. It's one place I can go and feel really insignificant. Man, I feel kind of like that every time I get on YouTube. <laughs> Pretty much. Anytime we upload a video. Do they live scope on oceans? Oh. I doubt it. Just for the range of how um how shallow. Live scope can't go, you know, like 600 foot deep. It's only got like 60 or 80 foot range or whatever. I think some might, but I don't. Do you fish like much deeper than 60 or 80 foot ever? I just feel like the ocean's just like everywhere is just like 700 foot deep. Do um like that. So your cabazon or the lean cod and stuff like that. Do they, are they bottom dwelling fish? And then, so you pull something up out of 90 foot of water. You said you fish between 45 and a hundred foot. Just, 90 foot of water, those fish have a swim bladder. Do they have a swim bladder like a largemouth does? Because if so, how do they not just totally just die? Bottom fish. They look like a bottom fish. Just from, they look ugly. I don't know, like a, almost like an ocean catfish. So their swim bladders, lings, and cabazon do not. Okay. Flat bottom pelican boats. The um the little plastic pelicans that we were talking about. If so, then I'm all for them. I'm for any kind of anything that you have that can get you on the water is great. I think. Oh, Corey said something about kayaks. Did my fourth time on a kayak today, if that tells you all the boating I do. Not a whole lot. The sea bass do. You are supposed to release them at depth so the bladder goes back in. Wild. I like with a largemouth, you can fizz them where you like actually insert like a needle and them. Um, you release the pressure that it builds as it fights its way up. Yeah, absolutely, sleeper. I'm I'm all for them. I say anything, anything that you have. If you're wanting to get on the water and you don't have a boat, anything that you can buy, that you can that you're budget will allow if you can buy it and it floats and holds you i think it's great i'm all for it and honestly the pelican like the little plastic flat bottoms i mean maybe they're like eight foot long super convenient you can throw them in the back of the truck but they have like a pretty high weight limit i think where like a kayak you know has like a some of them have like a 220 or 250 pound weight limit. That pelican will hold like several hundred pounds, several hundred pounds. Aluminum boat all day. Yeah. We kind of are blessed. We have all three options. We have um a 14 foot John boat, 14 foot flat bottom that was gave to us. It's, 
like a mid 60s maybe it's a very very old boat that sophie and i kind of restored and then um it was in rough shape when we got it but it's a good little boat now and then we have our bass boat that y'all have seen in videos we've got a couple of kayaks that we picked up at walmart nothing nothing real super fancy but We kind of have a few options that we we can get out, but nothing's like crazy nice or anything fancy. I mean, it's just, like I said, budget-friendly stuff that allows us to get out and go fishing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Corey says he's going to own him an aluminum boat one day. Yeah, definitely. I'm kind of digging these little, just a thread body on these hooks without having to put any tinsel or anything on there. You have an aluminum boat? Nice. That one right there will catch fish. I was just a paddling today, taking on water. Wasn't too fun with the skunk on the yak. Dang it, that's not fun. Sold my center console three years ago because I wasn't using it. All friends moved away. 64 retired and need something that's easy on this old man. Of course I sell it. <laughs> In your... Wants to go fishing. Corey, you like that one? That's a 64th ounce little guy. <laughs> I was just trying to burn through that blue thread, man. I thought that white one would be, I thought the white tail would look good. Yeah, the uh, those little pelicans, it would definitely be easy. Good old BB. No joke. That's exactly, exactly what these are. That's hilarious. Granddaughter. Oh, yeah. Duh. That makes sense. I just kind of went to guard dog and that's where I got stuck. And then I didn't, I just lost train of thought after that. Cause I told myself that's not it. <laughs> God, <laughs> my bad. Not a, not the brightest crayon in the box, but. Guard dog. <laughs> yep. Hey, I mean, I was close. Golly. Thought granddad. That's what I was thinking. I thought that too at first. I was like, no, he said he's 64. Like, no chance. Granddad's still, still alive. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I wasn't alone. God, daughter. There you go. <laughs> Ran out of characters allowed. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. That was funny.
put that shiny little tinsel on there. What do you think? <laughs> My side, fellas. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I gotta straighten out the old... Ouch. Unfold a little bit. Mm. Shiny. Oh, 84 would be possible. No. 84 would be possible? No. I mean, yeah, 84 would be if he said, we were thinking grand dog or grand par. I don't know. I don't even know anymore now what was really going on. Might sleep in church tomorrow. Uh oh. Take her to the bank. Yep. This one right here is going to be pretty. I get the old thumpaholic from the preacher. <laughs> yeah, if you go to sleep in there, he may uh, he may thump you, get your attention. Control my control my jigs better on the bank. Yeah, take her to the bank. There you go. Same, Mister Earl. Someone set the alarm clock in the hotel for four thirty. Jeez, that is not fun. Unplugged. Uh, yeah, without a doubt. That one right there is... That one right there is fine. See that shiny little... Shiny little body on there. Thumbaholic. Fishing. Take her to the bank. Sleeper we have. She got into horses and cheer. Now back to fishing. Nice. Yeah, I like that one right there. That was pretty. Put it up against the dark color. Yeah, that one's a 64th ounce. 64th ounce guy. I'll have to take these all out to the to the creek. See what we can find. I got enough for one more blue. I've got one more blue in this box. And then we'll tie on a green big quarter ounce bucktail. And then uh, one more blue in here and then we'll end it on a big bucktail. That'll be a good way to end it. So Not sure with the alarm. I can laugh about it now.
curious about one. What made you get those skipjack hooks? Just the shape of them, the sickle shape, and then it looked like it had the biggest barb possible. And um, it just felt like it would hold, it looked like it would hold the fish on better. So we got a few, and then we took them to a creek, and I would kind of like let the little smallmouths fight on them just to see. And I mean, they seem like they held good, so. I've just never tried anything else now. I don't know if there's a better option or not, but they kind of have worked good and we have we don't lose a whole lot of fish on these hooks. Once they get hooked, they pretty well stay um they pretty well stay pinned. I love them, choke hazard. Oh yeah, I need to, I tried to get on and talk to Ron. Um, it's hard to, I need to get on and um, him to either get on here or me to try to come up and join him on StreamYard one day and actually talk to him and see if I can help or not that I'm great or anything, but he's just a nice guy and I would like to try to help him if I can. Yeah, that'll be. See, now my thread's getting. Hey, Mr. Rich, still here? Thank you, sir. You sounded better today. What do you think about the skipjack hooks, Corey? You are, are they all right so far for you? What time do you start working on Saturdays? Oh, what time do you start on Saturdays? Um, nine o'clock, generally central time. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, you just said I love them. Choke hazards, duh. My bad. What time do you start working? Start on Saturdays. Be working another seven next week, fall on Saturday. Yeah, man, I start on um I start at nine central time. So I've been on for oh almost three hours now. Six, twelve, eighteen. Yeah. Almost three hours. So I see that little bit of thread, I just go ahead and pull through. It's literally, I mean almost all fits in the frame and it's just definitely that bag of hooks <laughs> yes we're gonna head to bed thanks everyone for jumping in here and giving Matt some time for sure I appreciate you guys so much y'all are definitely helping with the watch time it's um of course the more people we can get in I need to like slide the word giveaway in next week or something. You slide that word in here, you get all kinds of people. Oh, you're not a bother at all, Corey. At least I have a reason to work all week, trap evenings, go home, edit trapping videos, upload trapping video, release a video in the morning, go to work. Man, busy man there, Mr. Earl. We'll do this one because this one's already got the old uh, something else too. I can go side by side here from the old style hooks to this new style hook. Cold a little better today. Awesome. So that is the old style of hook. Let me get one that's not painted so you can see side by side. 
That is our old style of hook on these. And it's a 3 aught VMC. But it is a heavy wire. And it's a little too heavy wire. So we went to this style of hook. And it is the exact same size. It's still a 3 aught hook. This one's a little light wire. More light wire. And it also has a slight downed bend on that on that hook where this one is straight. That should also help improve keeping fish hooked up. So this being our new style, it's a more light wire than this one's a lot more heavy, thick wire. Light wire is easier to penetrate. You're going to not have to be as crazy with your hook sets. And it's not light wire to the um, point of about to like bend out. I mean, it's still super stout hook, but. And this actually was a four aught hook that I was messing around with. Compared to that three aught that we use now, the four aughts are way too big. Heavy has a place, yeah. I just. It, I don't use it. It's not enough for me, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. If you're pitching and flipping, yeah, you need to have your hook. These being more of a swim jig, you're not flipping these into heavy cover. cover. So, yeah, these being a lot more of a swim jig. Um, You won't need them, so anyway, we'll make something real fancy too here in just a minute. Get this lines pulled up. Who crabbing? I ain't crabbing. About the same thing I did a minute ago with the white boxes and stuff. My country boy, excuse my ignorance. Boxes. Yeah, reef robber. He goes out and crabs with the um, like the big wire cages, like a crab pot or whatever they're called. This one's gonna be fancy. So these are feathers, obviously. Old crab, your oldest favorite food. Nice. The Grinch. Yeah, no doubt. Let's put a few of these in there. That looks like a good one right there. I love crab legs. They are for sure. Probably one of my favorite foods too. All right, get us a couple of those feathers.
And Mr. Earl on the west coast out there, do you all have stripers? Do you have striped bass in the in the salt water? Put that crab on a crack of dude. <laughs> you like some crab legs too, Travis? I can get down with some crab legs for sure. Earl, do y'all have stripers out there? Striped bass? In one river that you know of. Um, this one we're about to make, that I'm about to make, will be a killer for stripers, man. Anything with that long tail, the long streaming tail, stripers just love that stuff. Never fished for them. Nice. I love some crab legs, man. Never fished for them. All right, well. They, um, I know they're a saltwater. Um, Johnny's Outdoor Adventures, if he is still in here, he'll have them in New Jersey. They will school up the coast to spawn. All right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Earl, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir, for hanging out with us so long tonight. And uh, stay safe out there, doing all your crazy stuff out there on the West Coast. Sleeper, ooh, putting out a recipe here, y'all. What's a good recipe? Steam crabs. Yeah, take that note down. JoJo, one or, number one or two. Stripers here. Never caught one, though. There, get one out on the big leg. That would be sweet. Yeah, screenshot that for sure. Don't forget the seasoning. Butter humble on. Yeah, don't forget that butter. Yeah, this one here, we're going to get wild with and just see what it turns out like. What do y'all think? That's kind of been the style here. Is I've been liking to end on just something, something wild and fun. Like Thumpy said earlier, just waiting on the creativity to kick in. Yeah, she does. She teaches Sunday school. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a class... Um, 
upper class is like five to eight, five to nine year olds. So I believe that's about the right age group. Five to eight, maybe four to eight. She's kind of the in between. Oh yeah, she was trying to study earlier for her um her class in the morning. Just reading up on the you know message for tomorrow. She was saying it was about communion tomorrow, so. Maybe just about what it is or whatever. No telling. Gotta have butter. You've got one or two stripers. One was with chicken liver? That's crazy. That's really wild. All right, now we need some hair for it, huh? Livers stay on, hook well. Gizzards are the way. Yes. Livers, can't, I can never get chicken liver to stay on the hook well. What in the world are you talking about? I always got to put it in the pantyhose. Yeah. I, no, I can't ever get liver on stay on the hook. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Oh, panty. <laughs> Panty. A lot of striper fishing here. Need a boat to get on a charter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You said you're in Maryland, I believe. Was that right? So, yeah, you would be very east coast as well. Malone, you got them Virginia, man. You might be able to catch them. I don't know how far you are from the ocean, though, but Maryland's a tiny state, so you're not going to be far anywhere. Wrap my livers with elastic thread. Okay, there you go. Have you ever seen the thing, like the pantyhose? You just drop your liver in it and like sling it around your head and all that. You know, the centrifugal force will sling it to the, to the foot part. And then at that point, you cut it. You know, you tighten a knot, just a square knot, and then you can hook through it. And then you tie another square knot, and then you got another sealed off end. Pack some more liver, tie another square knot. Tie another square knot. Yeah. <laughs> Bank fishing, cooking gizzards. He, Thumpy's going to show up for it. You ever tried that with the pantyhose? Smith Mountain Lake, Central Virginia City. 40 pounders? That's awesome. Call my buddy the bomb my boat. <laughs> yeah, no joke. You use socks. There you go. Pantyhose is way cheaper, man. It's like 50 cents for... You got like three foot. You know, pantyhose is kind of long. They go like three, four foot long. That's all you'll ever need for one night. Pantyhose is the move, man. It's way cheaper. And at Walmart, you can get it. Oh, old socks. Holy one. There you go. They're free. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's got a pair of holy socks, too, so.
Yeah, at Walmart, we can get, you can go like just, of course, in like the women's department, but it's like those little, it looks like the little things that you win out of like the 50 cent gumball machines. It's just like a little clear ball with like a plastic lid. That's, that's what they come in. I think it's like 30 cents for a pair. And I've never seen anyone use an entire pair like in a night. That's it would be insane. Let me get this all cinched down a little bit tighter here. Don't let everything, don't let anything escape. Oh my gosh, that new thread is sweet too. Of course, we're gonna put a little bit of green, a um, little bit of chartreuse down the whole top side of this one. I might try to get some of the brown just to kind of tone that chartreuse down just a little bit. Get some of the brown in there with it. Just so it's not so insanely bright. When will there be an asbestos bass jig? Um... So I tried, Corey, to make one, man, and it just looks like junk for some reason. It just does not work. I am not about it. Yeah, it's a, it just does not mix well. It does not, it just, all of it just looks messed up. Yeah, I got old, I got old bass, bass just right here beside me. You know, you can, of course, get the old tree limbs, get it fluffed out like you do at Christmas time, so there's not any gaps. There you go. Get the old good side facing out. Get this side all fluffed down here. There are so many jigs on this tree, dude. It is unreal. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> He's just looting it. I bet there's 500 jigs on this tree, dude. That's insane. Yo, it's bestest. Biggest bucktail I've ever seen. <laughs> Christmas in May. Heck yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Thank you so much, Jessica, for hanging out. I hope you all have a good night also. We'll see you all on our next one. Thank you so much. I've got another thing here that I wanted to mess around with. I was trying to find alternatives for hair for these jigs and make an A-rig with, with this bestest. I tried, I picked up this square of like craft fur thinking that might be all right to make some jigs with. And it's literally just a it's just faux fur is all it is. Yeah, that's a, that's an option as well. It doesn't tie right at all. So I really have not used it, but Seventy-seven percent, almost back where I froze. What? Ha what do you mean, Stacy? What happened, man? You the video froze or what? Uploading. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. Duh. That A-Rig, though. Have you ever actually... Have you thrown an A-Rig? That is the most miserable fishing lure I've ever seen in my life. I can't stand throwing one.
the A rig would be the asbestos rig though, or the AA rig, and it could be um hair jig A rig exist. I don't know. I could start a series and just make like a series of videos with the wildest things that I could imagine on an A rig. Cause I think I told y'all about like. I got some really good um, clearance finds with like some Alabama rigs. It was like the Umbrella Flash Mob. And I want to take all the, so there's five. In Arkansas, we're allowed to use five hooks on an A-Rig. I want to take all five jig heads off and put wacky rig hooks on and throw an A-Rig out with wacky rigs on. Oh, good night. All right. I appreciate it. We love you too. We appreciate you hanging out and hanging out with us today and at the old show as well. That was a lot of fun. It's pretty wild to see. That's smart. Yeah, man, I think that would be like a really good idea just for views on YouTube was start like a wildest a rig contraption that I could think of and just put like five chatter baits or five, you know, whatever, five wacky rigs. I think the wacky rig thing is like a sweet idea, like a legit actual good idea. I think it'll get eight. I want to do it. I just need to quit messing around um, because somebody else is going to do it and it's going to hurt. Some guy did five mega bass jerk baits on one. That's ridiculous. That's, that's not going to perform right, though. Like, a jerkbait has to have its own thing, so, like, it can be erratic. And there's no way that they're all going to... It's just going to be insane. But, like, a wacky rig wouldn't matter. And I think that the five would slow that... You know, it's got the one jig head with the five wires. I think it would slow the fall rate enough to actually look good. I don't know. It's going to be worth a shot. Um, how's those skunk jigs working? Like the actual black and white ones? I haven't actually even used them. I just, we just kind of tied them on a whim one night on a live stream. And then that's just kind of been the end of it. Mix and match baits on an A-Rig. Could you imagine like making a... Mr. Squirrel, thank you. We appreciate you hanging out with us tonight. It was a lot of fun having you in here. We hope we can catch you on the next one. Could you imagine making like a ultra light, um, version of an A-Rig, something that weighs like Maybe like three sixteenth, like have five one sixty fourth ounce jig heads or something, and then just throw it in a school of crappie and just see what happens. I don't know. There's just I feel like there's a lot of options there that we could explore. I just need to. We need to do it instead of let someone else, you know, do it and hear it and do something that would be horrible. Yeah, exactly. A rig with grubs. Yeah, that would see that would be sweet. Oh, you can only use three hooks. So you can still have two like dummies though, especially with something like a grub you could put like a screw lock head or even a wacky rig too you could put like a screw lock and just screw a dummy like a teaser on there but i'm 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 we need to do that sophie and i are going to do that this summer start experimenting with um a rig videos and we've got some pretty like good ponds and stuff we could go and it's kind of like cheating and people are going to like, eventually if you get a big enough video, people are going to gripe that you're not on a 75,000 acre public body of water all the time. But whatever. 
for testing and entertainment purposes. Our private ponds work all right. It's not our pond, but. I'm just about done with this one, guys. Kind of got distracted and started talking, whatever, but. Get that flash pulled down the side there. All the greens, just, yeah. This is a health healthy jig here with all the greens. That guy looks fancy. Yeah, that's like a striper jig or something here for sure. That's one reason I was asking about the stripers to Earl, see if he um, ever fished with any striper jigs. Oh, we got everything on this side looking good. Yeah, we got everything on that side. We'll smooth her up. See, like right now, the thread's kind of unlevel. I know the zoom's not fantastic, but you can see like the thread. Um, the thread right here is a little bit low. So that's what I do is just kind of build this up. And just put a bunch of thread on there. You can build that up to where it's nice and even. You don't want to get it too big because it'll look it look weird on the on the throat, but anyway get it evened up a little bit I like it to be straight the glass body on this the glass body on that would look sweet actually in fact I'm gonna go get it it's on the bar but bass magnet who that one going to ah that one's probably going to my tackle box to be honest that one is pretty sweet that one's got all the I mean, it's just got green on brown kind of fading into a darker green into the white bottom which the white bottoms sweet but <laughs> yeah but, yeah, Travis, you want, want one like it, though, uh, holler at me. We can fix you up for sure. That one's pretty sweet. Let me, give me literally 30 seconds. And I'll go get, uh, I'll get the glass, the UV resin. Be right back. Nobody took it while I was gone, so that's good. Also grabbed a doc. I had to see the doctor while I was out and about. Hey, did we show you all the map too? That's a little map of um, everywhere that our jigs have reached so far. <laughs> Malone was reaching for it. 
Yeah, we got even New Jersey up there. Little uh, Johnny was on earlier. He's that's New Jersey. It's pretty cool. As we reach another state, um, Sophie kind of colors them in with a uh, with a colored pencil, and eventually, hopefully, we can fill it all up. Strawberry, dude, yes. They're so good. Yeah, as we um as we reach like different states, she's coloring it in and stuff, so it's pretty cool to keep up with. It's neat. Yeah, let's uh let's seal this one off. The UV. I want to get some actual like UV resin, which is what this is, but this is, yeah, 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 for sure. Let me move that jig. There you go. You can screenshot it or whatever if you want, but, yep, that's a, I mean, it's just a little bitty, like, piece of wood. I think, actually, my mom got it for us at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to go order one from North Carolina. You're in Virginia, man. Are you live, do you live close to the border, border or something? <laughs> go order one from Virginia, from North Carolina. New York State would be colored in. Awesome. That would be exciting. Then we got, um, like, Mr. Earl's up in Oregon. That whole side of the map, like, it ain't got no love. 40 minutes from the border. Yeah, like, Oregon, Idaho, they ain't got no love over here. That's where um, Jessica and Rich Smart, they're from there. And Oregon, like, Reef Robber. Um... Of course, Oklahoma's covered, Texas covered, Alabama. I don't remember. I don't remember who was in Alabama. I think it may have just been like a random order from online. Florida, um, we have like Navi Outdoors is down there. That dude's got some of our, had some of our jigs. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the practice pond now, I think, but... Yeah, they're, uh, they're getting around, so Navi's a good dude, yeah, for sure. He's a really cool channel. He usually pops in. I was kind of surprised he didn't pop in tonight, but. That's a busy dude, too, so. Yeah, he's a good guy. No floaters. That is a good thing. He's been finding a couple of floaters lately, though. You been watching him? He done got a couple of floaters on there. They weren't, it wasn't from him doing, but. I wish that that screen did justice for how insanely bright that that is off of that off of that chartreuse. That UV light hits it, and that is just a next level glow right there. It'd be a lot easier to have a stand, a vice that like rotates. 
one of these days I'm going to get me one. Yeah, there's a turtles are the bane of my existence. <laughs> you don't like don't like the turtles, huh? They spook the fish and stay on your crappy jigs. I'm trying to get that dried somewhat. Put one more layer over on this side and she'll be done. I think we got her all the way around now, actually. Yeah, that UV resin is wicked stuff. It's crazy. It's not going to be able to show up on there, but there is a glass. It makes almost just a glass coating. It does not. No, it's all... Um, it's kind of just based on the color that you put under under it, I believe. Yeah, there's a, I'll tilt it around and you can see the flash and stuff in it. You got the feathers back there and pretty guy. You can see the shine on the, let me um put it in the vise. So that I, it'll be still. And then once it quits moving. The zoom is horrible. I mean the focus is horrible. But. I don't know if I can turn the camera. I don't know. If it'll mess it up. But. Anyway, there we go. That's something there. That's a shrink wrap without using shrink wrap. <laughs> that guac. You can see the shine. Awesome. Good deal. See, we can put a quarry filter on there. They got all the you got some bubbles. Thank you. I appreciate it. There's a dance party. Does that change for you guys too? Or is that just a, just a me thing? All those filters. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. You see it? All right. Sweet. Man, you can't trust anybody online, I tell you. They get on here and have all kinds of filters. All right, I'll, st I'll stop with the, oh, I'm sure you want to stop streaming? Uh oh, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, I better stop before I mess around and hit something wrong. Anyway, yeah, that dude there turned out all right. The feathers and the extra tinsel back here, the extra um, flash back there. And of course, like though, I mean, it is still feathers. It's solid. I mean, it's not about to like break, break off. 
but you could break it if you pulled on it. I mean, it, it is still just a feather. But, yeah, it's a nice little, turned out good. I'll put a nice picture of it on the old, uh, on the Instagram for sure. Once I get the eye cleaned out, because that eye looks like junk. Yeah, it's good. Turned out all right. I think on that note, we're gonna call her a night too. A lazy eye. Oh, it's just the eye. The eye of the hook. The eyes themselves are on there. They're straight. They look all right. But the eye lit or whatever looks bad yeah I think I got tired eye too now but yeah we had a um tried to run a buy three bags of jigs which we had our jigs bagged up in bags of three and bags of five we had like a buy three bags get one free deal going on today at the sale just to kind of last day of the sale trying to move some stuff out and also a lot of those were the eagle claw hooks that we're trying to get rid of and i think i'm gonna do like some uh, good giveaways or we're gonna make them make a good deal on them on our instagram or something but Try to get rid of them and then uh yeah then we can be back toward just our mustad stuff a carp would snag all of it off i had one blow up on a top water popper and took every bit of my bucktail off the treble hook and didn't even get the hook wow i fished with that bucktail buzz bait tonight and caught two so it was fun Neat to catch something on a little custom thing that we all made together. So, anyway, yep, yeah, I'm going to call it a night as well. It is 12.35. I appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me. And uh, like I said, God is great. Peace and fish grease. That's awesome. Thank you all. I'll talk to everybody later. Have a good evening.